1932, the International Motor Racing Authority prescribed a new formula, limiting the weight of a vehicle without driver to 750 kilograms. In spite of the tight times, Daimler-Benz developed vehicles to meet the specifications. After a nine-year break, the first new Grand Prix racing car was finally produced, internally designated W25. The eight-cylinder engine pushed 354 horsepower. Another novelty was the independent suspension. In June 1934, a day before the race, the W25 was officially weighed in at one kilogram above the limit. An old idiom using the word lacquer to mean swindled gave the racing manager Alfred Neubauer an idea. Overnight, he had the white paint coat scraped off and the W25 reappeared in naked aluminum. Thus, the regulation weight was reached. The first entry of the W25 in the International Eiffel race was a resounding success. Manfred von Blaukitsch not only won the race, but set a new record. The name of the unbeatable silver arrow, coined by the press, caught on fast, prompting Daimler-Benz to keep the color for its racing cars. The 1931 season brought four further victories for the star and ended with a duel between Mercedes-Benz and Auto Union, which lasted into the following year. Nineteen thirty-five was an extraordinarily successful year. Mercedes swept up victories in nine out of ten races, including five one-two finishes. <laughs> Rudolf Caracciola, who in nineteen twenty-six had won the German Grand Prix under extremely difficult weather conditions, celebrated his spectacular comeback. Of the nine victories of the season, he clinched six. In the same year, he became European champion and was celebrated as a major star. In 1936, a string of bad luck hit the star. Auto Union's 16-cylinder race car, designed by Ferdinand Porsche, was dominating all the races. The Daimler-Benz company's reaction was to set up an independent racing department headed by a young engineer and gifted test driver, Rudolf Uhlenhout. After thoroughly testing the W25, he developed the new W125, which made an impressive comeback in 1937, stealing victory after victory. The unforgettable climax was the Avos race, which was the fastest race in its time, with top speeds of up to 380 kilometers per hour. The average speed of 260 kilometers per hour was only surpassed in 1959. The ever-increasing speed under the 750 kilogram limit was finally considered too dangerous. In 1938, a new formula was introduced, limiting the cubic capacity to three liters. In the same year, Rudolf Caracciola took the European Championship again with the W154, followed by the German road race. Next year in the Tripoli Grand Prix, only 1.5 liter racing cars were allowed to enter. This was a strategy of the organizers. In order to enhance the chances of the newly tested 1.5 liter Italian racing car against the intimidating predominance of the German racing cars, Daimler-Benz discreetly developed the W165 in only eight months. After a single trial journey a few days prior to the race, two W165 models started against a majority of 28 Italian and English racing cars and scored an awesome double victory. 
Herman Long came in first with an average speed of 197.8 kilometers per hour and Rudolf Caracciola in second.